is uh, Sensei Clement. Today we're going to be talking about the Chi Kune Do philosophy of the five ways of attack. Now remember, John Fong Gong Fu is the original system that Bruce created, mainly from fencing, Wing Chun, boxing, from China, from various different grappling, various different Jiu Jitsu techniques he learned from Wally J, throwing that he learned from uh, Judo Jean LaBelle and a whole lot of different people uh, he trained with. So it's not just boxing or fencing or Wing Chun, it's like over 20 different systems or styles in John Fon uh, Gong Fu, which is Bruce Lee's original system that him and Guru Dan were explaining, uh, were researching in the 1960s. What I want to be going over today is the five ways of attack. So the first way of attack is simple direct attack or single direct attack. That's anything coming from a direct line in any style. So that could be a cross from Western boxing, a push kick from Taekwondo, maybe a palm strike from any karate system, a jab from any type of striking system, anything coming off a straight line. B of number one is simple or single angular attack. That's anything coming from an angular line. So it could be a hook from Western boxing, an elbow strike maybe from Muay Thai, a roundhouse kick from Taekwondo, or a Muay Thai roundhouse kick, doesn't matter. Anything coming from an angular line. So that's the five ways of attack. Number one, a single direct attack, anything coming from a linear or straight line, and single angular attack, anything coming from an angular line. Two is ABC, attack by combination. So that could be a jab cross, that could be a snap kick roundhouse kick, any common combination from any kind of different system. Then you have three, which is attack by trapping or hand immobilization attack, thus the Wing Chun approach. approach. So he would have a lot of trapping, maybe pox out, lop sao, po um, different trapping from the Wing Chun system. So that would be number three. Number four would be progressive indirect attack, right? Progressive meaning moving forward and indirect meaning faking. So progressive indirect attack would be like your Ping Joy Gua choice. Ping Joy, it's progressive and then it's indirect, kind of like a fake. And he borrowed a lot of that from Western fencing. So that's kind of like faking. And you'll find that in any, uh, in any martial arts. And the Chow Sao Helix combinations that we do in the JKD class in Chai's martial arts is a prime testament to progressive and direct attack, attack by fake. And number five is attack by drawing, luring the person in, basically setting a trap. So if I keep my hands high or open like this, what's he gonna hit? He's gonna wanna come in the center. So maybe I want him to do that so I can scoop him into a knee. So it's kinda like setting a trap. Loida would be attack by drawing. I'm drawing my person in to intercept him. So you have the five ways of attack. S uh, single direct attack or single angular attack, that's number one. Number two is attack by combination. Number three is hand immobilization attack or attack by trapping. Number four is progressive indirect attack or attack by faking. And number five is attack by drawing. Now that's not any specific order. So you have to understand Every combination that you do in the JKD program is based on this philosophy of the five ways of attack. Now what Seagun Bruce did was he said, okay, every style and every system has at least one of these attacks. And my name is Sensei Clement, and that's a quick review of the five ways of attack.